Shalawan. Hold tight. All right. Shalawan. Call Halani La Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Harakak Radash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect scattered across the earth. It's your brother Allah coming to you with another lesson entitled Boast of the Lord and Be Confident. You see, you know, when um, a while ago I had watched this uh, movie, it's on Netflix, it's called Troy. And you know, um, they were, uh, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, but it's called Troy, it's on Netflix, you know, probably should, you know, check it out, you know, it's one of those, uh, ancient, you know, movies, like where they go to war and stuff, you know, so, um, when they would go to war, of course, what they were mentioning was uh, false gods, right? Idols and wickedness. See, but there's, there's, we have Yahweh by Shimei Awashai as our power. You see? We have Yahweh by Shimei Awashai as our power. Right? So, um, you know, Lord willingness lesson is, is uh, edifying toward the elect of Yahweh by Shimei Awashai. And um, once again, it'll be entitled, Lord willing, boast of the Lord and be confident, man. So uh, we'll kick it off at the book of Deuteronomy 7 and 17. If thou shalt say in thine heart, these nations are more than I, how can I dispossess them? Verse 18, thou shalt not be afraid of them, but shall well remember that the Lord thy power, I'm sorry, but shall, but shall well remember what the Lord thy power did unto Pharaoh and unto all Egypt. 19, the great temptations which thine eyes saw and the signs and the wonders and the mighty hand and the stretched out arm whereby the Lord thy power brought thee out. So shall the Lord thy power do unto all the people of whom thou art afraid. Verse 20, moreover, the Lord thy power will send the hornet among them until they that are left and hide themselves from thee be destroyed. 21, thou shalt not be affrighted at them, for the Lord thy power is among you, a mighty power and terrible. See that? Let's read that again. Thou shalt not be affrighted at them, for the Lord thy power is among you, a mighty power and terrible man. We have Yahweh by Shimei Washai among us. You see? The scriptures tell you uh, he have care, you know, and Lord will not be a part of thee. Like, but um, the scriptures do tell you that the Lord have care for his elect. And Lord will and we be, we be a part of the elect. You see? Scriptures tell you he preserveth the souls of his saints. He delivereth them out of the hand of the wicked. Psalms 97 and 10. <clears throat> right? This is the book of um, Baruch. Let's go to Baruch chapter 3, verse 33. And this will be a, a quick hitter, Lord willing. Let me see where we're at. Okay, um. He that sendeth forth light, and it goeth, calleth it again, and it obeyeth him with fear. The stars shine in their watches and rejoice. When he called them, they say, Here we be. And so with cheerfulness they shew light unto him that made them. Now listen to this. This is our power. Okay? And there shall none other be accounted of in comparison of him. Matter of fact. This is uh, Deuteronomy 6 and uh, 4. 
Hear, O Israel, the Lord, our power is one Lord. You see? See? Shemai, Yasharala, Yahweh, Alahayanawa, Haka. Hear, O Israel, the Lord, our power is one. Yahweh, our power is one. You see? When you hear a brother say that in the intro, that's what they're saying. You see? We ought to be confident in Yahweh, Shemai, Yahweh, And boast of him. And glorify him and magnify him. Or them, rather. Because Yahweh, Bahashem, meaning in the name, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, Bahashem, in the name, Yahweh Shai, which is the name of the Son of the Heavenly Father. See? The Savior of the nation of Yasharala. Okay? Let's see, um... Let's go to uh, Psalms 44 and 8. And this is a beautiful one, man. And the Most High, we boast all the day long and praise thy name forever. Salah. You see? Let's go to Psalms 34 and 2. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble that uh, shall hear thereof and be glad. Verse 3, O magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. And the names are vehemently important. How the hell are you going to be delivered if you don't know the names? Who are you going to call upon? Let me get uh, Psalm 55 and uh, 20, I believe. Oh no, 22. No, no, no. Oh, okay. Psalms 50. Psalms 50. It's not 20. Psalms 50 and 2. Psalms 50 and 2. I thought it was. It's all good. It's called upon me in a day of trouble. Hold tight. Okay, oh, 15, Psalms 15 and 15. And call upon me in the day of trouble, I will deliver thee, and thou shalt glorify me. Look at that, Psalms 86 and 7. In the day of my trouble, I will call upon thee, for thou wilt answer me. See that? And this is another fire one, man. Proverbs 3 and 26. For the Lord shall be thy confidence and shall keep thy foot from being taken. Man. Another fire one, Proverbs 14 and 26. And the fear of the Lord is strong confidence and his children shall have a place of refuge. Second Timothy uh, 1 and 7. For the Most High have not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. And uh, let's end it, Lord willing, with the book of Ecclesiasticus 43 and uh, 30. When ye glorify the Lord, exalt him as much as he can, for even yet will he far exceed. And when ye exalt him, Put forth all your strength and be not weary, for ye can never go far enough. The Lord is, man, <laughs> the Lord is the Lord. See? Look, jumping up to verse 29, the Lord is terrible and very great, man. There you go. And marvelous is his power. Let's look at the word marvelous. Causing great wonder, extraordinary, extremely good or pleasing, splendid. So I'm here. Very great, remarkable, man. Amazing. Stunning. 
unbelievable. <laughs> Spectacular, outstanding, striking, phenomenal, incredible, wonderful, outstanding. See? Astonishing. So, with that, Lord willing, you edify. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect scattered across the earth. See you in the next lesson, Lord willing. Shalom.